my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Skylar, or you can call me Sky. Today is another haul video. Hopefully this one is better than the last. I was not very proud of that one, to be quite honest. Well, the pieces of clothing that I have this time around are a lot more interesting to show and talk about, so that should be better. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, we're going to start with dresses again for this video. So this is just a plain black knit bodycon dress. Um, nothing, too <clears throat> nothing too crazy about this one, but I didn't have a black bodycon dress that was casual. I have one that's more formal. And I saw this one and it was like $14 or $15 at Marshalls. If you don't if you don't have a Marshalls, if you don't shop at Marshalls, plug. Please go there. Like it is so worth it. This is from the brand called Roller Coaster. Uh, I will try my best to link it or try to find it. But I got this in a size large. This is actually absolutely the perfect bodycon dress for me that I own. Like you literally can wear it with anything. You could dress it up, dress it down, do fun accessories, fun sneakers, fun hair, like literally anything. So really love this and it's so flattering on my body. And the length is just right. It's not too long, not too short. And yeah, love her. The next thing that I have is another bodycon dress. I don't really want to, it's not really a bodycon dress, but like technically it is so i actually got this at a thrifted place so unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to link this but i really really love this piece so i wanted to show it anyway there's this little boutique downtown in downtown raleigh i'll link them down below it's called father and sons and they just have really cool vintage pieces and they hand select everything from all over the world and i just think they're really great little place to shop but I went in there for the first time and they have this little rack outside by the door and it really got me so I was like I'm probably not gonna get anything in here today and then I found this this is absolutely everything to me I am obsessed with this I cannot wait to wear this but this gives me like serious Jackie O vibes I've been wanting a dress similar to this for a long time, but most of them are really expensive. This one was only $32, which is an amazing price, and it was vintage. Uh, one thing that I really love about vintage pieces is that, like, nobody else can really get, get it. So, like, that's kind of fun. I know I'm not going to walk out on the street and see anybody wearing this dress, so I think that's pretty cool. It's technically a shift dress, I would say, but it fits me more like a bodycon dress. I love the way that... It has a high neckline and the gold buttons are very 60s and I just, I really can't even say enough about this dress. Ow! I know you're probably like, that was so traumatic, but I really just stubbed my toe so hard. At least I got it on camera. <laughs> I only got one pair of shorts and they are from Target. These are my new favorite shorts right now. I think these are so, so cute. And what I like about these is they look so, like they look like you paid so much more than what you actually paid. Like I would see these at PacSub for probably 40 or $50, but I think, I can't remember exactly how much they were, but they couldn't have been more than like $14, $16 but I will link everything down below. They're just such a good price. I really, really love the distressing on both of the legs of the shorts and also the whiskering and such on the front as well. Um, these fit me perfectly, perfectly. So shout out Target for making stuff that actually fits and this is my actual size. So I got this in a 12. <clears throat> I got this in a 12 and they literally fit me perfect. I don't know. I can't really say much more about these. I just really love them. Okie doke. Alright, next we're going to move into tops. So I'm going to start with this top first. It is Urban Outfitters. And it looks like this. So this was on sale and it was a really, really good price. And I saw it on the model and I knew knew I literally knew that I needed it so this color it's like a very light baby blue color I'm not sure if it shows up the same on camera as it does in person but 
This is one of my favorite colors to wear just because I think blue is really flattering on my skin tone because this color blue is very flattering on my skin tone because I'm very fair. But also I have blue eyes so that really complements them and I also just love blue. Like I don't know, blue is just one of my favorite colors. I think I got that for like this for like $17 and I don't know, like she really snapped. It has two crosses that go across the bust area and then a keyhole cutout underneath and it is also ribbed. So this is really really flattering. I got this in a size medium. I was really hesitant to get a medium in this top just because I'm usually a large if not an extra large in Urban Outfitters clothes but I went ahead and got it because I looked at the size that the model was wearing and it looked a little big for her and I think it was an extra small. I'm not really sure but I made the executive decision to get a medium medium and I'm really glad because if I got a large it would have been too loosen the bust and I really wanted this to be snug that way like I didn't have to wear a bra with it and it's it's just absolutely perfect like absolutely perfect I cannot wait to wear this top it's just amazing okay. the next two tops I have are tops I've been wanting since they were popular and they went on sale not too long ago on Urban Outfitters and I had to get them because I knew they were going to sell out and I just wanted to see what all the hype was about. So the first one that I got was the IMG Naomi top in the shade, the shade, the shade, in the color red. So this is just a beautiful top. I go to NC State and our color for our school is red. So I thought, why the fuck not get this? Like, this is perfect. I don't know. And like, if you're wondering, if you're one of those people who is like me, and wanted to know what all the hype was about this shirt. I'm telling you, the hype is is for a reason. Like, I'm not really one who buys into stuff like this, but like this shirt, I put this on, I was like, this is why. This is the, why this shirt is so hype. Like, it is so flattering. And also, I really want to say, shout out to IMG for actually making something that fit me. Like, I'm, I was so scared that it was not going to fit because a lot of these brands, like, I feel like you order stuff and they make their clothes smaller on purpose to exclude different body types but this is a size large which unfortunately is the largest size that it comes in so they should really work on that but hey I'm happy that they are true to size so this large fit me literally perfectly and I really love it so the way that this is it's like a peasant style top and it has almost like it's almost like a bustier up up and where the bust is and it has like cups for your boobs but there's no wiring it's all just material and then it ties in between with this pretty little bow and the shoulders and the sleeves are very they have elastic and they have a whole bunch of ruching and stuff and details so you can wear this up on your shoulders or off your shoulders whichever one you please and then the bottom has a lot of detailing and some wiring on both sides that really just holds you in like it's almost like a corset type top so if you were wondering would I recommend this absolutely like I think I paid around I don't even remember but it was I know it was less than 50 because that was the sale and then I got more off so it was really worth the price and I'm literally obsessed with this let me show you the back the back is kind of the same deal you know the ruching and stuff like that and then the seam details on the back so really really love this so much I haven't worn it yet because I'm waiting because I just think it's so beautiful but I wanted to show that to you guys and just tell you that it really is worth the hype I also got the same top in white so this is again the Naomi top I have already worn this one and to be quite honest I was a little confused because I thought that these were the same top but they're actually a little bit different. I don't know if you can really tell, but this, yeah, you can. The sleeves are different. In my opinion, the red one is a lot more comfortable than this white one. I'm not really sure. I don't really know because I think they're both Naomi tops, but I don't know why this one fits different, but it does. But the sleeves on this one are a little bit more tight. Like, I felt a lot more restricted in this when I was wearing them. But everything else is pretty much the same. The detailing on the bust is the same. The ties, no. Okay, so, sorry, it's almost, the two tops are like almost the same, but not quite. The material is a little bit different on the 
bust area this one is a little bit more thicker and I'm probably gonna assume that this is because this one is like a white or cream color and I mean I don't really feel like I need to say anything else like if you don't want your nipples to show through that's probably why this one is a thicker material but that's the same thing with the tie the tie is a lot thicker I think it's a lot longer than the red one as well but also really love this top I think this style top is so beautiful I talked about that in my last haul and yeah same deal um, I got a size large in this one and has all the same details just the material is a little different the next top I got is another Urban Outfitters top and it looks like this um, it is by the Urban Outfitters brand and what's really cool about this one is it has all these cutouts on the back so I've seen a lot of celebrities like Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, all those models wearing tops like this probably last summer and I always wanted to get one but I didn't want to pay a very expensive price. So I got this one for $19.99 on sale at Urban Outfitters in store. I'll try to find it online somewhere but hopefully it's still available. I really just love this top. It's very flattering and it doesn't show, the material is see-through but it doesn't show too much nipple, nipplage, if you will. Um, so definitely good for like a night out or honestly I would wear this during the daytime but not everybody would. And I got this in a size <coughs> large. Next thing that I want to talk about, <sighs> I am obsessed with this. It's two pieces, it's a set. <sighs> just like, can we just take a moment, like just I'm not even going to say anything yet. Just Let's just take a moment. Now look, you're probably like, bitch, what? Why did you need that? I bought the top first. So it's the IMG Isla Patent Crop Top and the IMG Patent Zip Front Pant. So I got the top first because I was like, okay, no offense, Urban Outfitters, but the or IMG, whoever did this photo shoot, but the pants, the picture with the pants and the top together just did not look appealing to me, like, at all. So I got this first, and I got this in a size large. I got this with the red top. So, like I said, all their stuff that I've seen so far is run just true to size, which I'm very, very happy about. So good for you, IMG, like, that really makes me so happy. <laughs> It's just a patent crop top, um, bandeau style with little spaghetti straps. So it has a seam that goes across here, and then underneath it has a zipper detail, um, a go I mean a silver zipper detail that goes around the entire top, and it does a little high-low thing, so the back is a little bit lower than the front, and the back looks like this, and it has a nice little zipper. So yeah, this is, shirt is very quality, high quality, which it makes sense, like you really are. I would say you really are paying for the name, but also the quality. It's not like you're paying for bad quality. I think that it feels very nice. So I saw this first, and I thought it was so, so cute. I wanted it so bad. And then after a while, I was like, I don't really know what I should wear this with, because like I don't want to you know, wear it with something and make it too casual because, like, it's, that shirt is, like, really like that to me. So I started Googling and, like, trying to find outfit ideas, and I realized that Kylie Jenner had wore the same exact set, but in the red color. I'll put the picture here. And she looked so amazing in that, and, like, obviously Kylie is now very curvy. Like, the model, no offense, the model was very straight build, slim build. And the pants just didn't look flattering on her. But when I saw it on Kylie, I was like, sis, <laughs> time to get the freaking pants. So I got the pants, okay? And I probably will only wear this one or two times together. But I just, I just really love this. Like, I love this so much. So here are the pants. And by the way, another thing that really scares me is ordering pants online because, like, Pants never fit me. They never freaking fit me unless I buy them in store. And I was just so nervous. I was praying that they fit and they fit me perfectly. And so I got a size large. So I would say all across the board, IMG is true to size. I cannot say thank you enough because I was so scared these pants weren't going to fit me. 
but they have the same zipper detail on the top of the pant which I really like because it's like it looks like they should be connect when you wear them together it looks like they should connect um, and it has zipper on the very front of the pant like that and it just zips down that's how you get in and out and it also has these two zippers um, that go diagonal across both of the legs and they they do work they really do work I'll show you in the try on but they are just a patent pant and this blue color is really unique and fun I love this a lot not really ever seen any blue quite <laughs> as crazy as this one Legs go like this. It has a little detail at the knee with some ruching and some seaming. And then the leg has, sorry, this is hard to show. The leg has another zipper detail at the bottom. Um, here is the back. Nothing crazy. It has a seam across the butt, which I think is really flattering. It does make your butt look really good. It's like the zipper, I mean the edge of the pants goes up and then the seaming goes down so it gives you the illusion that your butt is very full and the one okay there's two gripes that I have about these so if you were interested in purchasing them I will let you know that one they are very long I'm about 5'8 so it's really okay for me like I can just throw on some heels or some sneakers but they are so long on me even being 5'8 so if you are shorter than me you would probably have to get them tailored or you'd have to wear really tall heels for them to not be dragging and also they do squeak um i don't think there's any way to get around that but when you walk like the material is such like a plasticky pleather feel that they do squeak when you walk so i will just have you Keep that in mind just in case you wanted to purchase them but with all that being said i think this is such a great outfit and yeah, I'm really glad that I purchased them. This is like a huge step out of my comfort zone to buy this set. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I know it was really expensive. You're probably thinking, like, you did not need to pay that much for these. But I really enjoy it, and I'm happy. And I feel like it just really expresses me. Like, this is something that is just, like, this outfit is very me. Like, everybody that I've shown this to this, like, you look like a Barbie. And, like, it's just so you. So I'm really happy about it. Um, I cannot wait to take a picture in this set. I'm so excited. I would give IMG a, honestly, 10 out of 10. Like, their prices are trash, but I mean, I got all this stuff on sale. So, hey, I'm happy with what I paid for. <laughs> okay, the next thing, I have one little skirt. And this is super cute. This is also from Marshalls. I haven't worn it yet. This is the pattern. So it's just a simple little... I don't... I'm not going to really be able to show you like without trying it on. But it's just a little wrap skirt. And I think this is absolutely adorable. This is not something that I would usually wear. But I thought for like if I went to the beach or like had a reason to be a little bit more dressed up. This would be something just nice to have in my closet. Um, this is just... Oh wait, sorry. This is by the by the brand Cali 1850, and I got this in a size medium. This is from Marshalls, and it was only seventeen dollars. And I just thought it was a really nice, beautiful skirt. I love the way that it wraps. I love the way that like it's got this whole little high low effect, and the material just flows so beautifully on the bottom. I love this combo. It's like a navy. Navy is the main color, and then it has um, orangish gold cheetah prints all over it. So yeah, I really love this. I'll try my best to try to find this and link it for you. It might be kind of hard. And then I have a couple more things. I'm going to show you two swim sets next, which are both from Target. Target is really the goat for... I'm going to say it. Target is the GOAT. Target really stepped it up. <laughs> I got two swimsuits from them. And I wore one of them. If you follow my Instagram, you probably saw the red one I'm about to show you. But I still wanted to show you anyway. So the first one is a little cheetah print one. And it looks like this. It's just like a sports bra style top. And um, 
To be honest, when, before I tried it on, I didn't think it was going to fit, but it really does fit. There's a little bit of side boo, but like that did never hurt nobody. And then the back just has a little clasp. And I really, what really sold me is like this print is just so beautiful. It's like pink undertones and then orange and black spots. And it has rib material going down. So, so cute. I got this in a large and it fits perfectly and then I got the bottoms matching bottoms as well because I didn't really think that you could match anything with that unless you just did plain black bottoms but I wanted to get the matching ones as well these are high-waisted these are super super cute and I actually got these in an extra large the large was a little bit too tight it pinched my skin like you know how high-waisted bikinis like they can sometimes pinch underneath you know what I'm saying? Like it just had this weird patch of skin that was not flattering. But the extra large fit perfectly on me and it's the same pattern. Very, very cute. Love this a lot. The next one I got is a red bikini. And this one is super cute. This one is really cute. It's my favorite. So it's just a one shoulder top. The top is is adjustable and I got this in a large as well this is exhilaration and the other one I think is also exhilaration they're both exhilaration swimsuit tops just in case you're wondering and this one is just really flattering sometimes with um, one shoulder things like especially bathing suits it could be a little too low on this side but I don't think that it is the top really holds me in and I can't really say much more about this and I love red bikinis like who doesn't love a good red bikini you know I also got the matching bottoms and I got these in an extra large as well these are really really cute and flattering and sit very high up on the hips which is most flattering for me because it minimizes your waist and accentuates your hips which I love not much to say about these just super cute super flattering and yeah I do also still want to shout out Target for making clothes that do fit and from what I've seen I think they do a great job of welcoming all body types with their products so thank you so much for that Target. The last thing I want to share with you are a pair of shoes and I haven't bought a new pair of sneakers in a couple months so I was just itching to get a new pair so I did. Um, let me tell you, actually let me show you and then I'll tell you the story about them. Oh gosh these are so beautiful to me. Here they are. Ah, literally so freaking gorgeous I cannot even <sighs> these are so beautiful these like <sighs> and they're gonna match that blue shirt that I showed you earlier oh my god these are the 2018 blazer royal easter shoes if you know shoes, you're going to know what I'm talking about. If you don't know shoes, then you're not going to have a clue. But I'm not really that big of a fan of blazers, which is this type of shoe. I just never really envisioned myself purchasing any. But they recently came out with the Sakai... I don't know how to say it. Sakai blazers. And I thought they were really cute. I'll, link, I'll put them up here. But they sold out and I couldn't get my hands on them. And I didn't want to pay more than retail for the shoes so I was just looking at other blazers and I found one pair that I liked but they didn't have my size so I went on StockX and if you don't know what StockX is it's they market themselves as the stock market of things and basically it's just where people can go on and resell clothes like high-end or street style high-end street style it's like it's basically like high beast centerfold and people go on there and hike the fuck up out of prices for sneakers because people just want clout and want to be a hype beast. And I just will never understand why you would pay a thousand dollars for shoes when they retailed for one seventy. I will never understand that. But I went on there to see if they had these other blazers, but somehow this came up on there and I had never seen these shoes before but they were part of the 2018 Easter collection they did like an Air Force One that was really cute oh my god look it matches my little background back there that's so cute 
But the colors on that, I'll put it up here. The colors on that were just like not functional. I think they're these Air Force ones are really cute, but they're just not functional. They would not go with anything I wore. And I guess I just never saw, like never realized that these existed. And so I got these for a really great price. They were under retail, I think. And yeah, like I'm really happy with them. I got a men's size 7. But I just got these a couple days ago. And I've been waiting for these to do this haul video as so. Let me describe these beautiful shoes for you. So, they basically are a high top shoe that have patchwork all across them. Both of the shoes are identical, so like the patchwork is the same on both sides of the shoes, both of the shoes on the same sides and whatnot. So let me go ahead and describe everything that's going on because there's a lot going on. So let's start at the back. They have this suede for the heel cup here and this is like primarily what most of the shoe is made up of. As you can see it's like all here and here. So the heel cup is this really pretty blue suede. It's almost like a periwinkle color which I really love. And then it meets the patent Nike sign here that goes on both sides of the shoe and then followed by this beautiful lavender patent in the Nike writing. Okay, so on this side of the shoe, you see that the patent um, swoosh goes here and it looks kind of white, but actually the sole and the all of the white detailing is more of like an off-white or a cream color, which I really like. And the swoosh just extends across the side of the shoe and um, the blue suede meets this really pretty baby blue color and it's like a woven fabric right here and then it meets again the lavender patent and then back to the blue suede and then we have the toe of the shoe which is a really pretty pastel pink leather and then up along here the I mean the um, tongue of the shoe is actually canvas which I think is really cool I really like that so it's canvas and then um, shoelaces are the same as this right here. On the top of this, on the tongue, we have a little... So it's just the same purple, but it says Nike right there. And then on the other side of the shoe, it's basically the same. The only difference is that right here we had this blue on the other side, but they switched it with the pastel leather pink and then they put the blue woven on this little patch right here. And my favorite detail, I know I'm out of focus, my favorite detail about these shoes, I'm gonna show you. My favorite detail about these shoes, I don't really know if you can see it or not, let me just see. I might have to switch to a little bit better lighting. Um, yeah, you can! Okay, so it's this little Easter egg that's hatched and it has the Nike sign in there. So I just think that's so freaking cute and I know that these are from 2018, but I know these shoes are really old. They did drop in 2018, but I just could not resist these shoes. I think they're so beautiful and I have so many colors that will match. I wear a lot of purple, oh, that's not purple. <laughs> purple and blue so I'm so excited to wear these I think they're so freaking beautiful so I will link the sock x website down below where I got these shoes because you're not gonna find them on Nike or finish line or anything like that if you wanted them if you don't know how stock x works let me know because when I first started using it I didn't know how to be there so Okay guys, so that is going to conclude this haul video for today. I had so much fun showing you all the little goodies that I got and hopefully this one was a lot better than my last haul video. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you made it through this whole video, you're a saint and I love you and I'll see you 